Why Jalika 2 is important? Why it should not be banned? Let's look into the significance of Jalika 2 and why it should stay. Since it is bulls and cows issue, let's start off from the end product, milk. Different types of protein in milk. There are two types of beta casein protein, A1 and A2 protein. Most of the breeds in Europe, US, Australia and New Zealand produce milk rich in A1 protein while native breeds in Asia and Africa produce milk rich in A2 protein. Why A2 protein? Our human digestive system processes these two proteins differently. Based on these differences, researchers believe that A1 milk protein could be the cause for various chronic diseases like type 1 diabetes. Most researchers believe A2 milk is more beneficial than A1 milk. Production of A2 milk During breeding, if one of the bull or cow were an offsprings of a cow that produced milk rich in A1 protein, then the new offsprings will also have this trait. It has been scientifically proven that the gene which causes cows to produce milk rich in A1 protein is a dominant gene. In India, there are 37 native breeds and of these, 36 have the A2 protein gene in them. Six native breeds found in Tamil Nadu have the A2 protein gene in them. What happens to the bulls during the Jalika 2? The bulls used for mating need to be virile. This is where Jalika 2 comes in picture. The time when the bull is released, it experiences a great adrenaline rush which boosts its testosterone levels. This increases their virility and this is one of the most fundamental of all necessities for selective breeding. Can this be done without an activity like Jalika 2? Possibly, but then the mating rates the bull can accomplish decreases significantly. Why can't we resort to artificial insemination? Artificial insemination is an expensive process and we rely on semen imported from countries like US, Australia, Denmark, and New Zealand from Jersey bulls and other such breed known to have A1 protein as the dominant gene. This essentially means that our generation and future generation will then have to live with milk rich in A1 protein and also the associated problems like type 1 diabetes, autism, and so on. I think this article clearly explains why thousands of students have gathered at Marina Beach. It is more than upkeeping the traditions of Tamils. It is to save the A2 milk for our next generations.